Hi Ali, here's your screen from yesterday. Here we go. On the left is before and on the right is after. Quite subtle these changes, but uh, you need to concentrate and get working on these. Um, starting with the left one, the main point is your posture looking much, much better now. Well done for that. The what we talked about yesterday was the movement of your left knee from the top of the back swing. So let me just take you through your back swing movement uh, from on the left, on the right. Now, as a note, as a point of note, we did talk about just turning and not swaying. So you can see how your head moves across to the right. We've got to try and learn to turn without as much head move motion to the right side. So you haven't got to try and stretch onto your right leg as much. Okay, so your left knee's moved in there, which is fine. And same on the right. You could sway a bit on the right, but not as much as the one on the left. It's, uh, it's a longer swing as well. Now, the first motion I want to see from here is is the left knee for you working. Okay, so I want to see this. Moving towards the flat end of that triangle. And you can see at that point there, the, up, the upper body, your back, goes from there. I want the knee to drive first. I want that to start and pull the arms. But you kind of just have a kind of what we call an upper body dive, if you like, gets in front of the ball slightly. That's why I've put a line just to the right side of your head there, or to the left side of your head. And you can see the head gets in front of the ball slightly, and this is going to create you know, inconsistent hits, if you like. So your knees began to move there, as I say, I just I wanted to start earlier. You can see the knees get a little bit too close together for me. Mm -hmm. I want to see the left knee separating more. On the right, it's much better. Okay, want to, the head doesn't get quite so far across and the knees are slightly further, further apart. You can see from between here. Right. Put that back on. Okay, the gap between the knees there. So that's going to help the arms fall into a much better position. And stop you from diving forward. So you need to separate your legs from your upper body. That's going to give you more power, better strike. Okay. At the end of the swing, you can see how your back is slightly um, sort of curved here. shape here. Uh, that shape there. Whereas this one here, I, I was talking to you through the swing. Uh, let's take you to one where I did talk to you through the swing. You might have been this one. Just have a quick check. There you go. So there's the forward motion at the end of the swing. So you went from there to there. I need to make that as a fluid motion. So you need to make your swing drive with the left knee. And as you move through, the right arm will follow. And you move forwards there. Okie dokie. So only focus on that knee at the moment, Ali, and your alignment. And if you can add to it, use try to stop your head from moving to the right side in your backswing. Like that, you can see it. So practice against the wall or against um, a pillar of some sort. Okay, and that will help that. Okay, that will do for now. Let's see you soon.